It was in 1989 when Undersecretary Leopoldo Vega started as a consultant in the field of general surgery in Davao City. In 2009, he was appointed by Secretary Duque as the Hospital Chief of Southern Philippines Medical Center, known before as Davao Medical Center. Under Secretary Vega was also the first director of Davao Medical School Foundation. In an interview with UNTV this morning, Under Secretary Vega said that he and President Duterte have known each other for a long time. President Duterte was still a mayor when he became a practicing doctor in Davao City. I, I cannot uh, presume, no? I, I can't be uh, uh, presumptive on why he chose me, but uh, I've known the president from my perspective. I've known the president since uh, he was mayor and I was a practicing uh, doctor here, as, uh, here in uh, Davao City. And, I have never left uh, Davao City uh, ever since uh, I started practice. Uh, personally, coming from my end, uh, uh, that uh, he, he he knows me in the, in this community. Under Secretary Vega received a call last June 4 from the office of the president, informing him that he would be assigned as an Under Secretary of the country's Department of Health. Under Secretary Vega said, however, that President Duterte has not yet talked to him personally about the details of his job. The new health official admits being a DOH Under Secretary is a great challenge that comes with great responsibility as a medical professional. He is ready to perform his job to meet the president's expectations. Really honored, and you know, and very humbled with the, the promotion that uh, the president gave me for his trust and confidence. I, I really would like to uh, make it a point that um, I can meet uh, the president's expectation. You know? And uh, what are these expectations? That this is uh, this concerns really in terms of delivery of services and benefits to uh, the uh, especially with the uh, uh, frontliners and the, uh, the different. Uh, people who were, uh, you know, uh, afflicted with COVID-19. And uh, this uh, expectation should also mean that uh, there has to be a proper coordination with, with the Department of Health and the different uh, interagents. Next week, Under Secretary Vega will travel to Manila and will first talk with Secretary Duque and ask what office will he be focusing on inside the DOH. Though he doesn't have an appointment paper yet, he plans to help expand the country's testing capacity and give more and appropriate assistance to healthcare workers. Under Secretary Vega also said he is willing to help and support Secretary Duque, whom he has known for a long time as well. I've known him. I've worked work on him, and I'm very much willing to work uh, uh, in from any with any secretaries because you know I'm I'm a worker. I'm, I'm <laughs> I, uh, I'll just do my job and do things uh, right. We have. I do a lot. I've been with the department since uh, 10, 10, 11 years ago, and I have a lot of colleagues in there. I mean. Uh, um, uh, people know me, and uh, I, I know them. So a lot of uh, I've been have been uh, doing business with the central office as well as the, the different hospitals uh, under the department. So uh, I, I'm not really uh, uh, a newbie to uh, to them. Under Secretary Vega also said he will serve as one of the government's supporters in providing services to Filipinos, especially during this health crisis. I Miguel, UNTV News and Rescue. We serve the people, we give glory to God.